introduce the main lady herself. We are right now on DSTV channel 376. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Uh, if you're a lover of hip-hop, you can always catch this on your DSTV box every single Thursday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So they call her Kashi. They call me Kashi. Uh -huh. What do you call yourself? Kashi Bado. Karibu sana, Miss Kashi. Uh, your camera is number four. Do you have a mic, Kashi? No. All right. Uh huh. Your camera is number four. I know people have been looking forward what's to up, this. As soon as we posted the poster on our social yeah, media, actually, you didn't even send it to me. We didn't send you the poster. You didn't. All right. I think uh, somebody's <laughs> gonna get punished after this. Uh, my producer, yeah. did you hear? All right. <laughs> anyway, the poster is all over social media, but I think I tagged you in one. Maybe Did you? if you get a lot of tags. Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, you maybe. might miss one or two. Yeah. But all <laughs> but the same. But it's all good. I'm <laughs> you're here, here yeah, now. Thank you for We're having me. We're about to have a good time. Yeah. Uh, first, before we carry on, have you ever seen a breakfast show that plays hip hop music? This is actually very this dope. This is your first one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm so very glad dope. to be your first one. I like one. it. Right. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you can introduce yourself on camera four. What's up, what's up, night to Akashi, your girl, Kashi, Miss Kashi. I go by all that cheddar names, eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, all Thanks right. for having me. All guys. that cheddar names. So yeah. it's self explanatory. Your mm -hmm. name is derived from Kashi. Yo, I, would, I would like to say. I so would cash like to is say. a noun. <laughs> cash is a, is a, is a legit. I, I would like to say, but uh, actually it comes from my name, mm -hmm. Karimi, Karimi Muriungi. Uh -huh. So in high school, first form, my first name was very common. So uh -huh. um, uh -huh. guys just decided to like shorten it, make it cute. So, it so became the cash, short form for Karimi is cash. Cash. Wow, you so guys know mula, how to swag it up. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think the short form for Karimi is cash? Yeah. But I like that that it birthed your stage name today yeah. and you're very aggressive in this hip hop game representing for the girl child. Have to as represent. Always. We have uh, to all represent. right. So Miss Kashi uh, you went to Precious Blood, right? I did. National school. It, it was actually provincial, but the best in the country at the right. time. So, the shout best out my provincial guys. school yeah. in the country mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. All right. So uh, not back then, it's not 30 years ago. <laughs> not at uh, this super. Old. But right now, it's a national school, right? I think so. Yes, because I, I, I don't think they could have promoted the rest of the schools <laughs> and leave out Precious <laughs> Blood. Yeah. All right. So uh, after Precious Blood, you went to the University of Nairobi. Yes. And then you went to Strathmore. Yeah, I actually went to Strathmore first, uh -huh. then Precious Blood. What did you study in campus? I did uh, finance. Ma pesa to Ma cash, pesa cash. Cash. Eh? Always buy the Ma cash. Ganji. I like, <laughs> I like yeah. this. All right, so... Uh, but before I went to, to business school, uh -huh. I went to a college in town in the mm -hmm. CBD called Kamata Music School, mm -hmm. where I wanted to do production first mm -hmm. and acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. And then now, yeah, I just became a rapper. <laughs> all right. The reason yeah. I'm asking all these questions, did you always want to be a rapper back in Precious Blood? No, I wanted to be a DJ. Shout oh, out like my Rajiz, guy. Shout out to DJ Rajiz. He <laughs> yeah. stole your dream and ran away uh, with hey, it. Hey, Kabisa. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a doctor. Uh -huh. Then I wanted to be a DJ. Uh -huh. Then I wanted to be a producer. Uh -huh. Then uh, I wanted to be a guitar player. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, I just... Passions, you know, they uh -huh. just change, switch around as you grow up. Mm -hmm. And then my interest in rap really grew All after right. high school. Uh -huh. So I just went with it. So uh, have you tried playing the guitar? I do play. You do play? Yes. So you, you actually achieved one of those dreams. I did. DJing, is it something you're looking to do? Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Tawachia for now. All right, I like this so much. But still you stuck to your books. Is this something that you loved or your parents were giving you pressure? They didn't give me pressure. Uh -huh. From a young age, I had that um, drive to, you know, to study. I uh -huh. liked studying. I, I feel like if I'm actually planning to do my master's very soon. So mm -hmm. it's not something that was forced on me. It's mm -hmm. something that I feel is very important, not just for me, mm -hmm. but for the generations after me and for everyone. If you have the opportunity to study and go to school, mm -hmm. you do it. You take it. It's very important. It grows your mind. Mm -hmm. It um, it grows your heart. It makes you compassionate to other mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people so mind, then they become arrogant after that. But uh -huh. then uh, you just, if you have the opportunity to actually study and go to school, mm -hmm. you do that. Take it, yeah. All right. So people, some people might say you took a break from the music. Uh, I don't call it a break. Maybe you're cooking, 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 cooking or yeah. you're going through life. Uh, <laughs> but then you came back with another one. Yeah. Produced by Rico Beat, Rico directed Beats. by uh, Mike Lolly P. Mike Lolly P. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> they're good guys. They're good All guys. Right. Rico is my mm-hmm. producer. Mm-hmm. He he does more than production. He's become my friend, and uh, we work really, really well together. Mm-hmm. He has dope beats. Just check him out. Rico beats Mr. 808. Yeah. All right. Rico beats Mr. 808. Shout out. Ako Instagram, pale ako YouTube. And I see him posting yes. videos of uh, tutorials and master classes yeah, he of does. making beats. He's mm-hmm. quite a cool guy, he and he has made so many hits. And very talented. Very true. talented mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. So, are you looking to work with Rico beats for now? and just drop some more bangers for us from Rico Beats studio. Definitely. Yeah, right. of course. All right. So uh, your song, Mikasa Sukasa, mm-hmm. uh, really, I don't want to say brought you to the limelight because maybe some people knew you before that song. You were already freshmen uh, for Homeboys. You made it to the list. Yeah, I did. Before that song. Yes. All right. But this song put you on that uh, on that. It stage. gave me a wider audience. Mm-hmm. A wider audience. It gave me a bigger platform. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that... Uh, more people could recognize what I do and that I can actually do this. Yeah, right. it, it did. I don't know if you've heard of Obuni for Space. I, I have. They made a reaction to your song. Yeah, they did. What did you think about it? It was And cool. how did it make you feel like? It was it was really cool. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people people tagged me on it also. And they also talked to me. Mm-hmm. They're cool guys. I like what they do. I appreciate them. Uh, because it's not easy just like taking your time to go through people's videos and be mm-hmm. honest about them. So uh-huh. that they had positive feedback mm-hmm. to give me and to give like everyone else we did the track with uh-huh. was dope. From yeah. the producer mm-hmm. uh, to the rapper yes. and to yourself as well. And then moving forward, yeah. a lot has happened ever since you dropped that song. Yeah, a lot has happened, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Life, time, uh-huh. times. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about something in particular. What's up? You have a son now. I do. I uh-huh. have a son. A heartbreaker in the making. A heartbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a very... Uh, I was blessed uh-huh. Yeah, handsome boy, a good boy. Uh-huh. He's very calm. He gives me an easy time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you think he's going to be a rapper? Do I <laughs> think he's going to be a rapper? Or do you want him to be a rapper? <laughs> I, I, I'll encourage him. Uh-huh. But I want him to be playing piano and violin and all those things. But right. if he feels that, that uh, you know, mom, you're dope, uh-huh. I want to follow into your, in your footsteps, mm-hmm. then de- uh, def, I'll definitely support whatever he wants. And if he, he wants to go into to finance do. also, you'll uh, always yeah, support. If he wants to be a pilot, all right. I'll just be there to push him and support his dreams. All right, talking about the things you've been through, the things you've learned. Yeah. First, I'd like to ask, do you think it's tougher for ladies in the music industry, in particular hip-hop? It's very tough, Mm -hmm. and I emphasize it's very tough. Mm -hmm. First of all, because of the acceptance Mm -hmm. uh, by media. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me, by the way. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But um, acceptance (laughs) by... Shout out to I254. We are live on (laughs) DSTV now, by the way. (laughs) Channel 376. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Uh, acceptance by the media. Mm -hmm. Uh, the people also in general it's very difficult first you know being a woman there's always things that come before you they'll be like una try mbono javaivi una try kwa kama nani why is your sound like this yes. why are you rapping I'll take in you english back to the basics, why yeah? you i have in sisters uh-huh. yeah. and i could be let my mom could let me play outside yeah. until a little bit late, later but my sisters were kept in the house mm-hmm. to protect them for some reason so yeah. it starts at a very early age but mm-hmm. you can carry on uh-huh. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that's i think that's same same with me like uh-huh. i have i also have a few brothers uh-huh. i have yeah i have a few brothers i have cousins i have people left uh coming after me because i'm the eldest and i i saw the same thing uh-huh. but i it, i think it's a societal kind of mentality it's a uh-huh. thing with society uh-huh. um women you, you as a woman you have there's a lot of questions that uh-huh. will come before the music uh-huh. you can stand and in whatever not just in music but in whatever field uh-huh. you there's like wow but you're a woman uh-huh. wow but there's always that kind mm-hmm. and it's but not very there's always posi- that, yeah. but there's uh-huh. al- it's not very positive but also we have will i say we have more responsibilities uh-huh. but like i'm a mom now uh, are, you, are you sure <laughs> Rajis, do you agree they you have agree? Uh, more responsibilities a bit, just a bit more because just you know women are the homemakers mm-hmm. you have to be home you have I to work hear you turn <laughs> houses to homes <laughs> yeah we do uh. and then you have to be a mom you have to keep working you mm-hmm. have to you know make sure everything is running fine mm-hmm. in your world and in the world in general uh-huh. so uh 
by the time you, you even find time to do music, people are like, see, you just go to an office and work. <laughs> see, you just, there's always that they kind of mentality. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. All right. Mm-hmm. So it's tougher for women, it's you'd tougher. say. So also, oh, uh-huh. I have a different thing I was thinking about. Uh-huh. Also, um, did I forget it? All right. <laughs> but yes, we agree yeah. on one thing. It's tougher for women. All right. So there's this aspect of objectification of women, uh, especially when it comes to hip hop. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy. It's very easy to go on YouTube, find a hip hop track and uh, see some booty shaking, some half naked that, that's women. What sells. And then this is something that you're not actually doing or particularly doing. Uh-huh. So tell me what you think about obje- objectification of women in hip-hop and why you chose this particular genre that uh, is accused of objectifying women. Mm, it's, I think, first of all, that's what people would like to consume. Mm-hmm. Would and you like to consume your, your song? My myself, mm-hmm. myself being part of that. Yes, like I do always you go? get shocked, uh-huh, but I, you know, you let people be them. Mm-hmm. You let people do them. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you want to expose some parts of your body and you're confident with mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. I will not do it. Mm-hmm. But and I won't condemn you for doing it. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, if you feel that's working for you. Uh-huh. Do it, but I wouldn't encourage girls to do that because put themselves out I, there like I, that. I wouldn't. Uh-huh. I have younger sisters, and it would be a shocker for me. It uh-huh. would even break my heart to see some. There's, and you know, also I have parents. I have people who look All at right. me and respect me. I, I have people I would want to respect. Mm-hmm. I have a kid now, mm-hmm. and I would. There's a way I would like to raise him to look at women right. and to treat women. Uh-huh. And there's some things I would like for him to realize this is respectable and this isn't. Uh-huh. So I can't do that. I can't uh, the participate in that. The boy child needs some guidance. Mm-hmm. How will you raise your child to look at women? Give us the theory part of it. Uh, I will raise him to be very respectful. Mm-hmm. To understand that women are, first. you're first of all a person. Mm-hmm. You're a human being. You're first of all a person. You're first uh-huh. of all a human uh-huh. being. Me and you are human beings mm-hmm. first of all. Mm-hmm. And then, then, ca- then comes the issue that you're a guy mm-hmm. and that I'm a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, the same respect he will expect from people mm-hmm. is the same respect he should accord people. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to women, there's... Um, he should respect women because first of all we are very powerful mm-hmm. and that's why I and stand. he came from a woman he came from a woman but uh, other than that he uh-huh. also came from a man but uh-huh. <laughs> but there is the there's the you have to be mature about some things I'll mm-hmm. teach him how to be mature about some things how to handle situations in ways that is acceptable how he would like to be proud of himself that's why I feel like I have to be very powerful right now Mm -hmm. in everything that I say in what I stand for in what I mean Mm -hmm. because I know I'm raising someone and I want him to come into a better world and I want him to also leave leave a legacy Uh and live in a better world Wonderful. Wise words from Kashi herself, live on Wine in the Morning, Hip Hop Thursday. Don't forget to interact with us, White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag as well, hashtag Wine in the Morning, hashtag Hip Hop Thursday. And with, we are here with Miss Kashi. They call her Kashi. No, she Kashi. calls herself Kashi <laughs> as well. All right, so <coughs> Miss Kashi, you came to the studio on the worst day. Really? This is the worst day, yeah. It's, it's pretty brilliant. I love it. <laughs> no, because what is about to happen next mm-hmm. uh, is a game. Uh, a game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are taking you to the dungeon of Ayanas. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So are you ready for this game? Maybe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This game is called Kashi versus the People. Mm-hmm. All right. So we are going to be sampling some of the comments on YouTube uh, <laughs> on your song. Uh, okay. And then you can respond to them live. Okay. On Y254, live on Y in the morning. But as they line them up, I think they line them up already. Uh, we have one uh, right behind you. So, yes. I don't know if we can project it on the other screen as well. Uh-huh. But as they try to do that, all right, yes. Ah, do you eat carrot? I do. Oh, so you can see, yeah. Yes. All right, <laughs> you can read this out loud for us. Come on, any fun were OG and you came to hate on Kashi, then realize the track is actually dope. Gonga like. And on Akuna, 555 likes up uh-huh. there. Mm-hmm. I knew 555 people came to hate, mm. but they found Kashi. That's a week ago. Really has mad skill. Mm. And it has 26 replies as well. And 500 and something likes. This is. Uh, 
massive success on a song because a comment having all this traction is is really powerful what do you think about this comment kashi First of all, shout out to Mike Aswa. Takamol kome kujia ku hate. I don't know why you would come to hate. It's just it's music. Maybe you fan wa OG. Ni fan lakin ni lazma u hate. Si lazma u kujia ku hate. Like you can just come and you can. But then shout out to you and thank you for bringing that out and thank you for bringing all those reactions because maybe many people wali ko anafikira the same thing but they couldn't hear it. So you you thanks thanks. I think I even pinned it. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. So this is this comment really touched your heart. It did. It mm-hmm. did because I didn't I didn't know that people were coming to hate. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that uh, you coming to my page the purpose was to hate. Right. But then you came to hate and just realized oh uh, what 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 there's nothing right. to hate. I'm pretty sure when you dropped this <laughs> song, so, yeah, cool. you uh that things you anticipated, that things you could foresee, that things yeah. you could prophesy. Is there yeah. anything that has surprised you ever since you dropped this? As we uh, look forward to the other comment. There's 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 okay i predicted a bit of resistance mm-hmm. and that's that's come in a fair amount mm-hmm. it's not come as hard as i thought it would come mm-hmm. people are really kind out here people are very supportive and be- very encouraging mm-hmm. uh the that also really surprised me mm-hmm. because i thought i would struggle a bit uh i thought i would struggle a bit with also the media part of it but everyone has been really well receptive and that's that's really great for me that that really moves me um yes wonderful kashi we got to move on to the next comment now okay, okay. uh maybe you can read it out loud for us i'm a fan of both uh whatever happened in between is none of my business but this jam is lit thank you thank mm-hmm. you Tell us what you think about that comment right there. Mm-hmm. Is this the mentality you want uh, Kenyans to have in general? I guess so because <laughs> everyone has their own art mm-hmm. and the fact that you appreciate art um across the board is very is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Is a good thing, yeah. So that's right. a very positive comment. Wonderful. All right, uh on to our next comment now. And this is quite long. Must be really tight. Can you read it out loud for us? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, anyway, so all right. So it goes something like anyone else was expecting a new song after she's been going from studio to studio speaking trash about OG. Anyway, I go With down. I compare. Hmm, I compare her to serious female rappers like Petra, Sioko Baya, na Sijaribu ku beef, OG hiyo itakuwa mazishi. Uh, OG is equals 50 cent. You must uh, losing the beef. Losing the beef. Yeah. Wow, the spelling though. Wa Kenya wacheni kudanganya. Huyu mama tafadhali ngoma iko down yeye mwenyewe ako down kitu moto kwa hii ngoma. Hiyo uh, Papa Jones beef uh, blah 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 Neo blah. blah. All right. <laughs> Neo Benz too. Neo. Oh, ni malizi. Neo Benz too. Kitukali kwa ngoma Neo Benz too. Yeah. All right. Um I'll, this this is the kind of thing I actually expected. Mm-hmm. People thought I was coming to beef. All right. So this is very this is a very poor quality of thought. Uh-huh. Sorry to say we cliff. Uh-huh. This is very very shallow of you uh-huh. and also but anyway thanks for viewing <laughs> and thanks oh, for the comment here. Yeah. Thanks Sana. Uh-huh. Uh but uh there's always the people who just come to talk for the sake of talking. Mm-hmm. There's the I can't even call them haters. It's not hate, it's just um What is it? It's it's just it shows like your your IQ. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just mm-hmm. it's a measure of your IQ because mm-hmm. personally when I don't like something and if you're my friend I'll air it. But mm-hmm. if I don't know you uh-huh. and like I'll just And you don't like, go to YouTube to drop a I, comment. I I don't. But right. anyway, it's it's fine. It's uh-huh. it's part of the feedback that I actually expected. People thought I was coming to beef. Mm-hmm. But that's not the case. Mm-hmm. Like I just came out from a really bad place. A really bad place mm-hmm. and um I grew myself mm-hmm. from that mm-hmm. and I was just I was just like it's not going to bring me down. Mm-hmm. So 
my what I came to do is speak my truth and mm-hmm. say this is what happened to me mm-hmm. but you know what I've moved on from that mm-hmm. and I'm I'm a better person now I'm stronger mm-hmm. um I can do my own music I mm-hmm. can stand for myself I can stand on my own I can do my own things mm-hmm. I'm powerful enough to do that and I owe that not just to myself mm-hmm. but to the people around me because to the people around you yeah because right. uh it, it got to a point where I asked myself is it worth it to lose myself uh-huh and what will happen to the people who care about me who mm-hmm. the people who love me the people who believe mm-hmm. in me so it wasn't worth it so i left it mm-hmm. and i just came out to say it mm-hmm. and move on from mm-hmm. that like this happened at this point in my life now i'm moving on to other things you know mm-hmm. now i'm doing music now i'm doing that and i'm doing that but there's always the people who 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 don't understand mm-hmm. the people who don't understand they weren't there with me they don't know what i went through so they just come to talk for the sake of just talking and hating and thinking it's beef i'm not trying to beef with anyone mm-hmm. i'm just speaking my truth mm-hmm. and um the response from that has been very deep mm-hmm. there's people who understand like the message is getting to the right people uh-huh. and that is something i really appreciate it's getting to the people who understand what i'm trying to say mm-hmm. and their Some feedback will get it later maybe they they <laughs> might they uh-huh. might not uh-huh. if they don't get it it's not for them uh-huh. but the peop- the right people understand what i'm trying to say so uh-huh. it's so, okay oh yes oh yes i like that but we have another comment uh, so maybe you can read this out loud for us i don't know whether it's the vi- video quality or lighting uh-huh. but something is off i expected more uh-huh. kwanza after mikasa anyway go good good you're back or something uh-huh. good it's good you're back it's good you're back so this is hating and loving in the same sense fiona thank you thank Uh-huh. for that um this was actually is a video quality or lighting uh my video guy is very dope my clolly p maybe the lighting something is off but you know what it's a, it's my first project after a long time of it and i was actually telling you i did it on the 4th of feb so there's there's always room for growth so uh-huh. Thank you for that. Uh-huh. That's something we can work on. That's uh-huh. something we can do better. I expected more kwanza from after Mikasa Sukasa. Mikasa was also very a very it was, uh-huh. it was random. Uh-huh. It wasn't at the best and quality video. Done, yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. It wasn't at the best quality CG uh-huh. or outfits or ni ni no, no no. It's everything mm. that i've done so far i think everything you know me for is pretty mm-hmm. chill and very random yeah chilled and random mm-hmm. is your style and that is what you go for i think we have come to the end of uh, kashi versus the people she did well maybe we can clap for her uh, she <laughs> almost beat the <laughs> people <laughs> and, all right all right all right kashi so uh, back to you now before we play the next game we're full of games here full today games, right. yeah? <laughs> yes okay. but before we play the next game uh, what more should we expect from kashi I have a lot of uh, projects coming up some which are very interesting most a lot all of them actually very interesting but some are more interesting than others so that should come in 2019 there's also I promise consistency because in Nigeria again with women you go and uh, you yeah. come again uh-huh. you go and uh, you come again so this year I will try my best to do, to be very consistent mm-hmm. with the music with the videos and uh, improve on the things that you guys give me feedback about right. also there's um the movement part of it mm-hmm. because i was telling you earlier from the feedback people have been giving me before this was a story about just me and liberating myself and saying my story and moving on but i've realized that a lot of people actually are going through the same thing or have gone through the same things or are trying to get over or know someone who's going through some of these things so There there's gonna there's definitely gonna be something I'll do about that. And if I can speak for people who won't speak for themselves um or can't speak for themselves or would want to but don't have the platform then I will do that. Mr. Wonderful. Kashi. We love that uh, Miss Kashi and it's Kashi they call him Kashi she still calls herself Kashi. And uh yes, if I take your phone right now. Yeah. And get to the music player. Mm-hmm. Where am I going to find? A lot of Nyashinsky. Uh-huh. There's a lot of Blinky. Uh-huh. Uh, Blinky Bill. There's um Bithy. Uh-huh. There's what and then now a lot of R&B. A lot of R&B. You get <laughs> yeah. your inspiration from the yeah. slow so mm-hmm. <laughs> and slow dance. <doesn't> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So we are on to our next game and this one is called Rate the Bar. So we're going to give you some buzz from songs maybe you've heard before. Okay. Uh Yes. And then you're going to rate the bar. 
out of 10 mm -hmm. and then we'll tell you the artist or the person who's responsible for the bar okay. so the bar is right uh, right behind you ah, uh, i have seen it i love it oh you love it all right yes I love it. So, Ten. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> <laughs> so it goes something like Mimi ni jina kubwa labda tuzungumze na babako. All right, gari kubwa umanish aimanishangi uta utaitishwa za macho and on and on and on and on and on and on. You know this one. Def. I made it so on easy for you. On my playlist, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so this one you give a 10. Yeah. What is the name of the artist, my people? Mm, reveal this, reveal this. This is Nyashinsky. The name of the song is? Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay. Just free. Uh, free. Uh, free. Hey, <laughs> you guys used to cheat on free. examinations. <laughs> <laughs> you may as well be bumped, Yanni. All right. <laughs> nice one. So Nyashinsky gets a 10 from Kashi. Uh, the name of the song is Free. And uh, this is Rate the Bar with Kashi. Let's go to the next bar. All right, so we have the bar. It goes something like, uh, you think it's time for me to sigh out? Had a, all right. Wow, the spellings. Maybe you can read it for us. Oh, oh this, this I give a. Uh, oh, you know the lines? Li yeah, yeah. Um, this I give a, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can read it out loud for us first before you read it. Uh, so we can internalize it. Can the viewers see it? Yes, they can okay. see it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, what do I give it? Mm -hmm. Let me give it a 10. A 10? Yeah, let me give it a 10. You're very generous with these things. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. Let's reveal the artist and the name of the song. <laughs> mm hmm. It's uh, huh. Beat It by Calligraph Jones. Was that? Yeah. So you knew the song before we asked? Yeah. Oh, you already knew the song? Yes. And you respect the bars? Uh, yeah, I do. You do respect the bars? I do. All right. Uh, I never saw this coming. You're a, mm. you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a real one right there. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. I like that. So you give o the OG, the OG gets 10, uh, mm -hmm. Nyashinsky gets 10, mm -hmm. and then now we have another one uh, that is lined up. Uh -huh. Maybe we can project it on screen. Yes. So kujisikia ni poju mie sitaki hizo deals Sipendi, uh, sipendi maku hivyo ni tabaki kuwa kuwa real Na kila track ya, ya Q ah, Ni wazi <laughs> utaifil Ni wazi iko full ah, Mzazi na like, ikil uh, Nina Nina mwagika kama Masika Nina eshimika Na sio Kanji bai Eh kiswa hili kigumu man eh. Alright uh, how many marks would you give this? Could you scan it, Poju? Me stuck his ordeals. A ten. A ten? Yes. <laughs> no, Kashi, we can't play this game with you anymore. People have to fail at least on time. All right, let's reveal the name of the artist and the name of the song. Yes, Feedy Q. This is by Feed Q uh, from Tanzania. Uh, yes, Sunyashinsky gets a 10. Mm -hmm. uh, the OG gets a 10. Mm -hmm. And Feed Q gets a 10. Oh, yeah. That's why you're not a teacher. Unajua hip hop. What one get a composition, ni, Sana? <laughs> yeah, when you call it. Yeah. Hip hop ni culture, your love. And every, Usi sahau. Usi sahau. Na sizi the realm too. Sizi the. Because. Uh, I respect everyone in mm -hmm. the game and writing is not easy. Mm -hmm. Writing is not the easiest thing. So everyone who is able to write something and mm -hmm. and it comes out really dope, respect mm -hmm. to them. Respect yeah. to them. So mm -hmm. there are no songs that you have ever listened to and said, ah, the writing is trash, ah, man. They could have done better. There's, there's those, those ones. ones. Yeah. I, I should have looked for those ones <laughs> uh, before we played Direct the Bar. But on to, as we wrap this up, Miss Kashi, if your team or the OG's team was to reach out to your team, would you consider working with them again, considering the success of Mikasa? Mikasa was a really dope thing. It was a really dope jam. People are still bumping to it right now, so it worked out really well for both of us. Um, I would think about it. Yes. You'd think about I it? I would think about it. Uh, Are you a I Christian said, by chance? Uh, I am. I am a lot of things. I believe in God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I believe in the universe. I believe in love. All right, you I believe, believe in love. love. 
All right, so you think about it. I There's would, no hard feelings. That's what you're trying to say. What I'm saying is people are trying to get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I just went through a hard time mm -hmm. and I, I left mm -hmm. the things that were causing problems in my life physically, mm -hmm. emotionally, mentally. Mm -hmm. For, for myself mm -hmm. and uh, I did better for myself I'm in a good place right now mm -hmm. and I am in a place where I'm powerful enough to speak about it mm -hmm. to even do music to move on and if anything I'm fine I'm fine so music is music that's the business aspect of it and if we could do a jam as great as Mikasa mm -hmm. then if anything else were to come up I would definitely think about it I have no beef you Sina, have Sina no beef, beef. yeah yeah uh -uh. All right, in your new song, uh, the buzz that you <laughs> do in Meru, mm -hmm. Ki, Ki Meru, Ni Ki Meru, right? It's Ki Meru, yeah. Oh, so you're from Meru. I'm from Meru. You're from Meru County. Meru and Yeri, I'm Yo, dangerous. Mare. <laughs> All right. <laughs> do you chew, by the way? No. <laughs> you don't chew? No. <laughs> it's such a stereotype. But, but yeah, it's our culture. All yeah, right. It's our culture. So uh, tell me more about this. Why are you trying to incorporate Meru in your raps now? Or it, you've always been doing this? No, I haven't. This uh -huh. was the first time. Actually, a friend of mine was just like, yo, so you do something in Meru. And they, we laughed about it as a joke. But I thought about it and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I could try. And it, it came out really, really well because I, 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 was, I was anxious about rhyming in Meru. But it worked out and my Shosho loves it. Right. <laughs> Love and your, fr your fans from Meru as well yes, love it. Definitely. Also. Thanks, guys. I've been seeing you. I've been seeing you. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, Miss Kashi. It's about that time. Tell them your social media handles before we can introduce your song. But before we introduce your song, uh -huh. obviously, you have to show us some skill. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to, supported by DJ Raj is here, you'll show us some, some skill. You can give us a few buzz, but your social media handles first. Uh, Miss.Kashi, M I double S dot Kashi on. Uh, Instagram, Miss Kashi on Twitter, or Naitwa underscore Kashi utani pata nayo. Napia Naitwa Kashi on Instagram utani pata nayo. YouTube Miss Kashi. Ama tafuta tu Naitwa Kashi utapata ngoma yangu. Mm, I don't have a Facebook, but I hear there's a lot of a lot going on about me on Facebook. I haven't seen it, guys. I'm so sorry. But kama ni mbaya, bakini na kama ni fit, bring it over to my Twitter <laughs> and my Instagram and my YouTube. Right. Yes. Wonderful. So, uh, DJ Rajis, do you have some instrumental that Miss Kashi can flex freestyle. on for us? Not really a freestyle. Uh -huh. Anything you've written before freestyle, just four or six bars, max or eight. Before we can play the song, you have to grace uh, this stage for us. So you have to grace. We are finally on DSTV now yes. on channel 376. <laughs> uh, we have to do something yeah. about it, you know. All right. <laughs>